What's up guys, welcome back. So, I'm in the farm truck. I'm headed up north to meet my friend Rodney. I've known Rodney for quite some time now and he's always got a lot of cool stuff. He's got uh, a common rail swapped, uh, international travel law, I think travel star, travel law. I don't remember what they're called now. The four door international pickup trucks. He's got one of them with a uh, Cummins in it. He's got a crew cab load star with a Cummins in it. He's got two or three crew cab load stars. He's got all kinds of stuff. He's got a Suburban with the Cummins in it. A uh, little backstory on how I met Rodney. I had a cab on Marketplace that I was selling and I've seen Rodney stuff floating around everywhere on the internet and at shows, but I've never met Rodney until I sold him a Lodestar cab. We become good friends and he messaged me. Uh, it's been quite some time now. He messaged me and said, hey, are you interested in this? particular truck I have for sale. I'm going to sell this truck. I said, no, I, I don't, I don't need it. And then he put it on marketplace and I just, I just couldn't stand it being on marketplace and someone else having it. So that's what brings us to this video today. I'm headed up North to buy a truck from Rodney that I don't really need, but I don't want no one else to have it. So I'm going to have to go buy it. So that's what we're doing. So uh, let's go up here and meet up with him. attention to the GPS. I'm just daydreaming and not paying attention and then I seen a sign that I knew I probably should be turning at and then I pass it up. So here we go again. Well apparently they just put yellow stripes on the road the trailer tires are now yellow so probably the side of my truck is yellow there's no signs or nothing and why wouldn't I have like a flash of sign yeah I only about took out that mailbox oh look there they are there's the wet paint people right there I'm just driving through it they got three stripes on the road now Two big ones and one faded one. That one's from me. Wet paint. Well, no crap, Sherlock. Maybe you should be back there with the wet paint sign. I guarantee this thing has yellow on the side of it. If it does, I don't know what we're going to do. This really sucks. I can see it on the bed sides of my truck. It's on the back tires. It's on the front tires. It's on the trailer. It's on my bed. It's so stupid. Wait. You wouldn't even know you're driving in it because it, there's no wet, caution wet sign until you get to the truck. The semi is really jacking up the road. It's got the whole road striped. I feel bad for the guy behind me because he's got a, a brand new Ford Super Duty with a black trailer. And I can see yellow on his tires too. So I know it's all over his tires. Or all, all over his trailer too, I bet. He's probably fuming. I don't like it, but what am I going to do about it? At least it's my farm truck and not something nice. That's why I don't own nothing nice. Because it's right here. I'm going to go to a gas station, get some gas and wash the bed sides of my truck to get the yellow paint off of it. Cause Dingleberry up here is freaking painting. <laughs> look, look how good of a job they're doing. <laughs> good job boys. We are at the gas station. I filled me up with, uh, my sweet tea thing with some gas we're gonna wash the side of the truck and the trailer real quick because it has yellow stuff all over it yellow paint all over it yellow paint on the trailer yellow paint there there truck tires i'm not worried about but i 
don't want that there. I feel bad for the guy with the black truck because this is not coming off very good at all. Is that the proper way to show up? Yeah, good. <laughs> all right, we are here finally. It wasn't a bad drive other than that stupid truck. So, let's see what all he's got. I do like his daily driver second gen. That thing is cool. So is this where all the cool stuff is? No. So the truck that I'm getting is not here? No, it's not here. Okay. Three miles away. Actually, probably back the way you came. All right. Man, the crew cab king right here. I didn't know you had that orange one, or did I know that? No, you didn't know that. Okay, I would say. No, well, there's a few over there. There is a few. It's, it's stubby. Yeah, a little short guy. Right on. No, I didn't tell you everything. I see that. You're holding out. You are You didn't tell me that you had... I knew you had this crew cab. I didn't realize you had that. Is that the other crew cab you got the other day? No, I've had this one for a while. I see. Uh -huh. You need another one? I could have brought my. I could have brought you my red one. <laughs> I did see that one. You want that one? <laughs> I don't know. Come Probably on. Not. We could trade out more. some. You'll see more here later. <laughs> this thing's pretty nice. Solid. That's a good truck. Yeah, it's real solid. Really I nice. Later on getting rid of it, but I don't know. I'll, I may keep it. Man, this thing's really clean. If someone could use that wedge bed as a hauler, it'd yeah. be great. It's got a radio in this one. That's that's good. Huh. That's a good truck. It is a really cool truck. That's a 61 sitting in the, cat, in the bed. That's a 61? Yeah. So it's got the grill like my blue one. Yeah. Or like tetanus. Oh, okay. Same thing. Oh, so is that a load... That's, that's the a, truck. That's a pickup truck. That's a pickup truck. I, I was going to use it for a load star. Maybe. Okay. They all look the same. They look yeah. identical. Yes. Yeah, huh. I thought it was a load star, but it's the pickup truck. Yeah, okay. It's pickup truck. South Carolina. Dude. It's pretty nice. We used the bed on green bean, which we're going to pick up green bean now. After you. What? Which one's green bean? It's that flat nose car. Oh, star, yeah, 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 yeah. Car yeah. hauler. We're going to pick it up for my buddy. He got done? Mm hmm what he was doing all the steering set and the brakes are where it needs to be so now we just got to finish the engine wiring nice on the back so a 2jz and a loadstar so what frames on under it's it 95 dodge chassis okay so this is going to be a drift truck it'll be a drift truck <laughs> right now the back's on back the front's on the motor in it no no no, no. yeah it's she's a little a, empty <clears throat> No wonder I can't find no more load stars. You got them all. You got one for sale? I know. I don't need them all, so I figured I'd sell you one. I should have just brought it and forced you to buy it. That's <laughs> what I should have done. I've seen it online. It looked good. All right. So we went here and seen his collection here at the shop, or the office, I guess. Now we're headed to his barn, and uh, I guess that's where... Where my truck is that I'm picking up. Great, now we're back on the road that has the wet paint. Yeah. The title so this truck looks familiar. Yeah, you've had that That's one. how I met Rodney, was this. So I was on the way here, I was saying something. That's how I met you. But I bought this truck. And then, like I was saying, I seen Rodney all, all these shows. And then he just so happened to show up to buy that one. I got another red one you need. Come on. I could always need it, but I got a good one there. <laughs> you got quite the collection. That don't even fit in that Chevy. You're gonna have to get rid of that. No mind. I need the front. Does it got front bumper? Uh, yeah. It's tweaked. It's tweaked though. I think you tried. I think you mentioned something that to me before. You needed one. Yeah, Hannah's needing a, a bumper. What are you gonna do with that one? This one. I have a guy wanting it. 
so I don't know. We'll see. Another little. I was going to make a four door out of that, but then I started getting into the four door loads. Yeah. Cabs. Yeah. This is a cool little truck. This is the wife likes this one. The wife likes this one. Okay. Yeah. Whatever makes the wife happy, right? This. She wants it four wheel drive. Well. So this get will you probably get changed out. Second gen chassis. Probably. Yeah. I got third gens at the office. Okay. Right on. You want to be in it? <laughs> Come on, Brock. Say hello. On, there you go. <laughs> so this is what we got. I already named this truck. The Rotten Banana. That's its name. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it fits it. Yeah. So this is what we come to get. What year is this thing? We don't 65, know. 65, 66. The title's at the office. It's a 65 or 66. Travel, travel, what's it called? Travel. Travel it. Travel it. Okay, I was wrong. I called it a travel star or something. A travel it. So, yeah, Rodney asked if I wanted this thing first, and I said no, but then as soon as he put it on Marketplace, I couldn't let someone else have it. Tab <laughs> Well, they are pretty cool. Someone said they're original. They might be. It's got a little banged up over here, but character. Maybe pull it out. It's got really cool patina, though. It's actually pretty decently solid. Well, I guess let's uh, load this baby up. It's pretty cool. I told Hannah I was going to sell it, but now after seeing I don't know. You've already named it. I know. It looked good on your shirt. You know, you got it would be cool. Yellow CWC. Where, where's the blue truck, the four door? It's at my house. We can go see it if you want. Well, we got to do a burnout. Yeah, we can go do Okay. That. Where's the Suburban? Your house? Suburban's at the Sounds house. like everything cool is at your house, so we got to go there too. Right, Brock? Well, we were going to go yeah. pick up the blue one. Okay. The blue what? The we're crew cab? Pick up the blue one with, I'm going to take him somewhere. So we were going to grab it anyway. So we can okay. Go I got to see the blue. And Tetanus is there? Tetanus, no, it's getting cruise control hooked up. It's out of shop right now. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, get this loaded. Yellow truck loaded up. We're headed to Rodney's place now, his other place, to show us around some of his trucks and maybe try to talk him into doing a burnout or two with a couple of his other trucks. <laughs> My baby's setting low. Down the other day. <laughs> See if it's got any more pressure in it. Yeah. That's pretty quick. <laughs> About jumped off the ground. Well, that was low pressure. Really? That's pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is too cool. So this one's got a common rail? It's a 6.7. Six, 6.7. Seven. Six, seven. Yeah, we'll pop it. For sale. For sale. Ten. There you go. And you gotta smack the hood to open the hood. It's a typical GM. <laughs> that looks pretty good in there. Ah, the 
fourth? We'll be there. Cumberland? Hey, I'll trade you a 64 yellow international crew cap for it. How's that? Uh, uh, Dang it. Yeah, senior, <laughs> taking the boot off so he can get more. Uh... <laughs> He's taking his boot off so he can uh, feel the pedal. But we're back here at his place. We're gonna, or he's gonna lay it down. I'm just gonna video. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, you laid them out. A couple more turns, you'll have a completed paved driveway. What do you think? It's the rotten banana. I already named it. Oh, you did. Yeah. It is pretty cute. I know. I'll just tell something else so I can justify keeping this one. Well, you're gonna have to. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. The rotten banana is tucked away along with the rest of the farm trucks. So, for then, or for now, she's just gonna be rotting right here. But I think Corey has a few plans with it. Um, I'm sure it'll be 12, 24 valve Cummins. Found the operating manual, so I know how to operate it. Oh, good. But I have a 2000, is that a 2001, 2000? I don't know, we got a second gen with a 24 valve around back with a uh, 24 valve, it's four wheel drive, extended cab. The wheelbase is really close. So later on, whenever we get time, I do have a chassis for this truck. It is gonna be uh, one of my shop trucks. I gotta have a shop truck for every day. That's my plan. So yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then for, uh, the OG farm truck will be Sunday. That's my plan. But 
we'll leave you guys with this. I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next Wednesday. I don't remember this thing being this cool inside and I just love it. Yeah. I love the door panels. I thought those were pretty cool. And the seat eventually, so for the mouse trap, you know, our little seats that we have, I'd like to get this material of padding put in them. Cause I, I love that. I think it looks good. Yeah, so if you're wondering what we're doing, we came to visit the beer truck. There's beer in here and there's not. Yeah. Just kidding, I wouldn't drink that nasty nice crap. <laughs> so some of you guys, some of the earlier followers will remember this truck. This is our 57 Dodge that we turned into a beer truck. So if you're wondering what we're doing, we came to visit our 1957 Dodge beer truck that we built for Metalworks Brewing Company. We're up here today. We had to put a new mirror on it, so I put a new mirror on it and they wanted seat belts. We were in a rush originally to get this truck done and to them. So I made the trip just 30 minutes north of the, the house or the shop and uh, put three point seat belts in it and also put them a new mirror on it. But to fill you guys in that are new to the channel, 1957 Dodge sitting on a 95 Dodge cabin chassis frame. And then these are actually Hannah's original wheels on her truck. So they live on onto the beer truck. <laughs> so also the truck we found I had a guy contact me, he had this Dodge, it's in really good shape and it was perfect for what we were doing. And then the box, it came from my grandma's farm. They used to store corn in it back in the day and we repurposed it into a, it was it already had foam in it so it was a perfect candidate for this truck. And then we also had dual pinstriping, my good friend Paul. And look how, on this truck. I mean just detailed. Paul did a great job on this. Yeah, also it does have a generator in here. It's got a AC unit that is tricked to make it go colder than it should. And I love the gear on the back. Yeah, so this is your step to get in the truck. See, proof that we built it right there. Custom built by CWC. <laughs> but Oh, I did not realize Paul did. Yeah, he put a little bit of red. Yeah, he did. Dang. But yeah, so that is our beer truck. I've just kind of shown you guys kind of what the day, other than being the shops like, we had to, you know, take care of some stuff. We got an engine in our other truck. We're building a 68C10 for a customer. We got to run up the road here and drop off the engine for some, for some machine work. So I guess let's hop in the truck and let's go do that. Tell it bye. So long, friend. It's like... I wish it was like Kool-Aid and lemonade and it's, Gatorade served out of that because, you know, that'd be on our level. <laughs> yeah, this was a really fun truck to build and I don't know, sometimes I wish it was a little bit closer so I could just drive it around, but it's just set here in this parking Empty lot. Empty parking this, lot. Yeah, this is the future home of Metalworks Brewing Company. They have two locations. One's in Bloomington, downtown Bloomington, and their, their new location, the second location's here. And the way I took it was the truck will be staying here once uh, the facility is ready, but so long, buddy. <laughs> you say that, you can't get one. <laughs> I can't the whole time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he's pooping. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi, little chicken. Can we get this guy? What would you name him? Scooter? Scooter. <laughs> if I get this chicken, I name him Scooter. <laughs> I'll name him after you. <laughs> yes, I smoked 15 pounds of it yesterday. Oh, golly. Uh, yeah. You ready to rock out? <laughs> yeah. I want to Kentucky cage all night. I Here's our number two fan. Her husband is our second. <laughs> <laughs> and she brings me snacks and then Corey takes over them. You ain't gonna eat no grapes. I'm not gonna eat grapes. I got Rice Krispie treats. Those are for you. You forgot your Rice Krispie bars. <laughs>